Bye, idiot. Bruh. Hello, and welcome back to day number two. I have a very special one for you. Your next gift. A complete unopened pack of buff stickers. We just started running a limited time campaign on this bad boy. He's so pretty, isn't he? This pin was designed by Be The Free, the person who originally created the Graffiti Star about 10 years ago. And for me, that feels like coming a bit full circle. There's about six days left to get one of these pins, so you should definitely get one before you can't. Big shout outs to Be The Free, and I hope you enjoy the video. Next one's gonna be Mario's Wacky Wacky Adventure by Ian Link. Please come to the castle to eat my cake. Normal Tuesday night. Look at the guy that can't do lack of two skip. This is gonna make my Mushtagram account. No, I, I'm not gonna be part of the cringe. Simple never reads these. I'm like the only one who does. Do you wanna know why this is a troll romac? It's because of the one and only Nathaniel Scuttlebug Oatmeal Vacation Honey Paraguma Buck Master Roshi Koopa the Quick Vangabus Every Time Sometimes Once in a While Hatsune Miku Available on PC Windows Flash Grand Kirby Android. Goomba Bullet Bill Chain Chomp Piranha Ravioli's Gale Hudson Construction Parapad Peach's Castle Not at All Bandy Every Time Damn. Dude, I like the pixel flame graphic. I knew I would live. IQ 200, 500, 1000, Maximus. Oh, congratulations, you beat the game. Enter the pipe for the end screen. Thanks for playing. This is my first project, so I couldn't do much. I'll try to get better in the future. Hell yeah. We love to see someone planning to join the next. Oh my god. Yo, what up? Hoyo, it's me, Kirby, from the Kirby games and the Elmo song. I'll be your host in this quiz show. Wait, no, no, just end the hack like you said. We already voted. I hope you really like quizzes just like me. The questions will be about the Simple Flips channel, mostly the ROM hack competitions. Oh God. No, I won't remember anything. <laughs> but there will be other questions about gaming and stuff. Maybe a few special questions. I don't know anything about anything I've done. Without further ado, here's the first question. In which ROM hacking competition, Simple said the following. Getting chain grabbed by Nathan makes me sneeze. Okay, this one seems logically. No, it doesn't, because people have definitely just put Nathan in random things. But I'll pick C. I'll pick C, because I don't know. Well, someone could have been Nathan for Halloween. I'll pick Troll, even though it's probably Nathan. Hmm. I was thinking too big. Nope. I was thinking exactly the correct size, just didn't have the info. Maybe he was one for Halloween. The video in question is, you can run, but you can't hide at 2224. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Getting chain grabbed by Nathan makes me sneeze. From which game is the intro song of the 2019 Halloween ROM hat competition videos? <laughs> can't be Super Mario 64. Let's work this out from the perspective of whatever I'm doing right now. Halloween vibes, right? We're going all, it's gotta be Donkey Kong. It's, n it's gotta be, cause it'll be Halloween. It'll be like, I can't think of any Donkey Kong songs, but I know they have ambient, like spooky environments in the game and stuff. Quite spooky song and fitting for a spooky ROM hat competition. Who won the linear ROM hat competition? Linear. Now what does linear mean? It was probably Falco Buster. Hell yeah. Room Raider was the one I was thinking of. But I didn't know if that was part of the linear hack competition. Linear can just be anything, but that makes sense because it was super linear. Next question. In which competition did Simple play a ROM hack that was actually a Oot ROM hack? That's probably Zelda, right? I'm just gonna say Zelda. It had to be crossover. I don't have zero IQ. The health thing makes a little bit more sense now. No way. No way you're linear again. All right, retro it is. Okay. It was Kaze's ROM hack called Mario 64 as a retro game too. What game was that? Oh my God, I just unlocked. I know exactly what game it was now. Wow. This is like repressed memories. It was Bomb on Battlefield in Ocarina of Time. And even after stream, I tried a lot. Bomb ladder up to the island in the sky or something. It was HMC. There was an HMC one as well. Oh, damn, dude. I tried recording what I'm talking about for like two hours. Thought I would come back to it and it never did. It never existed. Shut your mouth. The B.O.B. one might have also been K's. 
I remember the HMC one as well. I remember the solutions to it. At that time, I was actively learning Ocarina of Time stuff more. Simple played this hack in SM64, stage in Ocarina of Time, Hazy Maze Cave. Good stuff. Anyway, here's question five. Which of these videos isn't at the top five watched videos in Simple's channel? I have no idea. I know I've got a better idea as popular and the Ufio one. It's probably the Twitch chat one. I'd have to imagine the Joel video did better than the uh, whatever option A was. The video with the long name is in seventh place. The way you squish Mario is quite impressive. And this is coming from someone that squishes a lot. Question six. In the secret yellow switch ROM hack from the creepy pasta competition, a toad gives Mario instructions on how to get to the yellow switch room from the dev room. How many tries did Simple take to actually get to the switch? Oh, easy. A question you don't have to think about is so nice. What the No, you got Marth sounds out of me. All right, let me think a little bit harder then. Five seems like a good guess because it's like five or more. This person earlier linked a timestamp to when something happened. So there's no way they're doing approximate knowledge for any of this. And if it wasn't first try, it was probably the next best thing. So with that in mind, I still lose. It has to be C. If it's D, you have absolutely tricked me in every way. Oh my god. I can't believe it. You're like Einstein on the mic and then all of a sudden you turn into an idiot. My own logic failed. At least five. Maybe it was six. But it wasn't very clear. I probably said some bull. Like one of the attempts didn't count. That's fair. Time for question seven. In Danganronpa 64, which of these isn't the name of the character of the game? Okay, hold on. This is sick. It's gotta be the C. Because I don't remember. Oh, that means I didn't remember even better. Roxy Chompers is so cool that I can't. It's probably B, right? Like, what the hell would a Budenberg pun be? You think it's A? So I think it's A because I feel like I couldn't forget seeing Roxy Chompers. A boo? Oh yeah, that makes sense. You're right. No, in that case, I, I'm back on board with A. Forgot that was an enemy. You got it right. Roxy Chompers is something I made up. Well, hold on to that one. It's nice. That's an unforgettable one. You meet Roxy Chompers, you wonder where'd she come from, where'd she go? Question eight time. Complete this conversation that happened Desert Mario 64. Okay, this is the stuff I can remember. I spy with my little eyes something green. Green who? Oh my god. I, I could have easily said Ligma Balls. A hundred percent I could have. I probably did. I, I, I bet I did. I, I, I bet I would have. Yes, dude! Consistency in the mind! My IQ isn't big enough to understand what happened at that conversation. Well, let me break it down for you. He basically asked me, Steve who? At that point, you just sort of fade into nothing. All the parallels of the universe sort of drop their guys around you. Because you weren't playing I Spy, you're not in a car, you're not controlling Mario for eight hours. You were just asked Steve who. It's like a call to action that unlocks sleeper agents. What am I talking about? But maybe you can <laughs> by watching Desert Mario 64 at 2721. Yeah, I spy with my little eye something green. Green who? Like my balls. <laughs> now for question nine. You still don't get it? Dude, hold on. We're pulling up the case files. So sad that Steve Jobs died of Ligma. Who's Steve Jobs? Ligma balls. <laughs> and that happened. That's canon. That's exactly what happened when uh, the culture shift happened with Ninja 50. I mean, Ninja. Now for question nine. What is the name of Star 2 of Big Boo's Hunt? Um, I should know this. Star 2? Kelvin. It should be B, I think. I feel like the question's so easy that it's a trick. It's A. Okay. I'm gonna grab this coin. Vic will get my memory. Vic understands compound interest, and then you should grab all of them. Question 10. In only up 64, what comes right after Luigi? Well, congratulations. I happen to see this a billion times. I think the answer is Linky Kong. So let me read it again. You climb Luigi, you go on like a log, then a chair, then a giraffe, and then it's Linky Kong. So it's Linky Kong. Is the wooden thing a banana instead? My memory's wrong? I don't remember jumping on a banana after Luigi. Are there two Luigis? I mean, that's a good question, actually. I'm just gonna go with banana and then lose if it's whatever. 
I, I guess it's a banana. I hope you got enough IQ for my questions. Let's bring the pain with question 11. Which ROM hack competition came right after the mystery one? Dude, I don't know. It could very well be Halloween 2. I doubt it was Dream. Okay, Mr. Comet saying I know this, it's Halloween 2. It, I'm wrong, damn it. Okay, but Mr. Comet probably thought it was Halloween 2, just based off what they said. None of them seem right, so I'll pick B. Dream indeed came after mystery. There was some competition in between, but thankfully I didn't ask for the next one. Question 12 is here. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, 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 a Zelda question. Okay, here we go. In the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, what is the name of the store in Zora's Domain? It's Fish and Sticks, let's be real. No, I've never played. All of those were stories in the game except Fish and Sticks, which I made it up. I hope you picked that one. I did, yeah, it was convincing. Complete the song. Kirby is so happy that something he can. I think it's D. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's question 14. The MPG channel on YouTube has an- Oh my god. Dude. You know what? I wouldn't have had a hard time remembering it if I just thought of an MPG song. I was dead ass so lost on trying to remember the order of lyrics from the original. I wish I was lying, but I couldn't remember the or I knew I know all the lyrics. I don't know what order they're supposed to be in. And you, from my position, you can understand I've heard the song 200 different ways. Which of these songs hasn't been featured on the channel? Um, okay. I don't recall a Wii Shop channel one. Make sure to check MPG channel after the show. There's an entire oatmeal playlist. He does make literal bangers. I actually played one of his songs last stream at pure random, just cause. You better do it or I'll take a bullet. Train to your house and suck your neck and force you to listen. The mic is busted, I need a new one. <laughs> I like that. Who dubbed Princess Fiona in, oh, who cares? Oh wait, no, never mind. I know this. Who dubbed Princess Fiona in the entire Shrek movie in Mario 64, featuring Varg Skeletor? It was bees, right? Wait, maybe I was Fiona? Can't be B, that's not even a real dude as far as I know. I can hear Joel's lines in my head, but I don't remember Joel being Fiona much. I'll have to go with D. It was mostly bees, but one single line, dude. One single line. You can hear all about it in the entire Shrek movie in Mario 64 at 13, 14. But, but wait, Sir Knight, this is our first meeting. Should it not be a wonderful romantic moment? Can, can, I, can I have the next Fiona line? Yeah, I want to hear your okay. Fiona. Yes, sir, lady, there is no time. Hey, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> is it Question 16. What is written on the side of the idiot block? D cannot be wrong. I didn't read it, I'll be honest. The way I'm perceiving the question makes me believe that there's different text depending on which side of the block you look at, as opposed to the same text on every side. And if you don't turn the camera, you wouldn't see. I, just, I don't know. Nice try. Whoa. And it must be the one that said idiot, because it's the only thing I see. I remember seeing. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Burn my ass. So I think I did turn the camera. I just assumed it was the same text on every side. I do know the answer to this one now. It is burn my ass. Yay! How much time did Simple take to beat the guardian of the gay baby key in the ROM hack, romhack.exe? Okay, what boss is that? It's probably A or B most likely. Oh, if that's the Jebel fight, it is not A or B. It's funny because that's the first one I thought of and was like, that's a long one, but I don't remember that being in a .exe game. Yeah, it's probably D if that's the Jebel fight. That's by far the, to this day, the longest boss fight I've done, if that's that one. It is the first thing my brain thinks of when it comes to custom bosses. Yep. This is the filet boss, all right. Holy. Oh, it reverses. Uh. In the video, the 2000 IQ Super Quiz, parentheses very frustrating, question six, Simple Flips wrongfully mixes which pipe colors? What a question, dude. If it happened two minutes ago, I wouldn't know the answer. Yellow and green? Sure. That answer was stolen directly from Schuber in chat. I'm putting all blame on them. 
Goober, you bitch. Goober said yellow and green before I even read the text, so they had to gamble a bit on their troll, which I respected and was willing to die for. Why'd I do that? Now, this question 19 is an interesting one. What does Simple Flip say when he makes a mistake that was completely his fault? Okay, so the mistake is my fault. If the mistake is my fault, I own it every single time, 100% of the time. So with that said, I looked at chat, that's still my fault. I would say that. Oh, but I would say they patched it too when it's my fault, because that's a joke. I wouldn't say no way, dude. My emotions are never there when it's, when it's my fault. So it has to be A or B. I would absolutely do both of those. Congratulations, you got it right. Actually, all of the pipes were correct. No, no, no. In the 3000 IQ Super Quiz, even more frustrating video, Simple Flip said, if this was a set of questions about blank, I wouldn't give a f either. Hold on. Why would I even be in a conversation like that? Geography? Some stupid question that would have been like, which state is near the border of Iowa? Some, and I definitely would have went off. So my joke default line, I think would be Germany. I think. Hell yeah, German. You answered correctly, and now it's time for the Germany section of the quiz. Dude, how right was I? It, that must have been exactly what it was then, if that's what I'm reading right now. It must have been exactly like this. Okay, maybe I just didn't remember it. Maybe I wasn't joking. Germany shares borders with how many countries? I don't know, it's gonna be like five to eight. I'll say nine. Give, give me a better median chance. That's so lucky. Question 22. In the video on a boat 64, uh, all right. All right, all right, I already know what the question and answer is. We would, we would, we do some coins in, in this civilization. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I would never have found that on accident. So I think they did it really well. You do oh my God. I can't believe this. No way. No way. I can't, be I can't believe it. This was so worth doing. No way. Dude, I've never, I've never duped money bags in one of these hacks before. I have not done it a single time to get an extra star. I've never done it. So how did you predict me so hard? Ooh, pick a pipe. Nice. Time for the ligma section of the quiz. I'm going to say a phrase and you have to pick the left pipe if you think it is a ligma or the right one if you don't think so. This is exciting. I feel I'm the adequate guy for this. Are you familiar with Bofa? Aw oh, man, if they had capitalized it correctly, I would say this is not a Ligma. This is someone who is doing some sort of wire connection to the Bank of America. I've been there. I worked at IBM. I saw Bofa and then a string of numbers every single day, all day long. So, you know, but the capitalization matters. Because this is a Ligma capitalization, I would have to say it's a Ligma. Both of these nuts. Good job. Are you familiar with Dandy? Are you familiar with Dandy? I am. Are you familiar with... Oh, I love Chokan. Oh my god, so therapeutic. Are you familiar with Imagine Dragons? By my standards, this is not a Ligma. You buffoon! Sign up for my class. You don't know what's going on. Imagine Dragons is not a Ligma. Plant tulips, that's a classic ligma. Wait, 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 Ooh, hold on. This was uniquely capitalized. I'm gonna say this is not a ligma. Aw oh, man, we've gotten so far off the reserve here. Too focused on the caps. I just know what matters, you know? Just because someone else might not play at the same level of intelligence, of ligma scholarship that I operate at, doesn't mean that I'm willing to lower my standards to understand someone else. I know that they're gonna get to me, and then together we'll propel into ligma velocities one could never imagine. Question 28. Which of these ROM hack competitions had the most submissions? Dude, I've seen this in chat several times recently. I think it's Dream, but I might have lost. This has a lot of questions. Oh man. Alright, where did I die? It was this question, right? Not dream. Maybe music. I'm not sure. Yes. Well, Mario, I had good times. You had bad times. But all good things, at least for me, must come to an end. It is time for me to leave. Before I go, I just have one question to ask my friend. What do you think will happen next? Oh, it's one of these logic ones. A boss fight? New Zealand section? Gay baby jail? Well, if you pick C, you pick your own fate. So there's no way I do that. D, a bullshit question section seems highly likely, but again, you would be choosing your own fate. I'm down to pick B. We could learn a lot about New Zealand. Okay. So it was a little bit not so likely of an an answer. Boss fight. Okay, I'll go A and then D in that order. I'll never pick C. 
What, you picked the boss fight option? Well, I can do that as well. Uh, but this is a quiz show. Question 30. If one day Simple Flips becomes a dark, omnipotent god, which can you do now to preemptively gain his mercy? Well, for some of you, it is far too late. But you can still ground pound that subscribe button. Now, even for you mortals that have already gone on the list of oops too late, you should still do it anyway. This was your ad plug. Signing off. <laughs> Goodbye, Mario, and thank you, the player, for playing my quiz. It is a fake intro, actually. That's a good perspective on it. It's a jape. It lowers your expectations of the experience. It even tells you that you have completed the game. And then you get dropped into a 30-question quiz.